Um, you know what? I I like to fuck and I like to I like to give heads. So yeah. if I can uh, do both of those, that's great. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is Sarah J, and you're looking at ozonemag.com. So, something like a super freak. I never seen her on tape before. But when she go low, she's a professional. My kind of girl. Sarah, what's good? What's going on? How you doing? I'm good. How you doing? I'm good, <laughs> man. Sure, you know, just out here, you know, Miami, kicking it, just seeing what's good with you. You know, I live down here now. I'm loving it. Do you Sun know? Sun and rain all at the same time. Yeah, that's what's up, <laughs> man. You know. Well, you know, this is for Ozone Mag. You know, it's for OzoneMag.com. You know. Yeah. We're um doing, you know, our usual sex issue every year, so we're trying to find out. Um, and you being one of the top porn stars, we're trying to find out, mm, tell us a little about porn. Like, you know, is it what you thought it was when you first came in? Um, it's not at all what I thought it was. Mm-hmm. But it's still really fun. I have a blast doing it and uh you know, it's it's definitely been a good career. It's been good to me. Porn's mm-hmm. been good to me for sure. Mm-hmm. No, you're saying that as yeah. if it's, you're saying that as if it's past tense, huh? No, like so far so good, you know. Like I'm doing big things. Like I've been in it for nine years, so it's been good to me so far. And, no. Yeah, I made a career out of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got a, my own production company. I have three websites, and I direct for Black Market and stuff now too. So it's um, it's good. I like it. It's fun. It's fun in front of the camera and behind the camera. I get a chance to be creative and you know put my thoughts and my feelings out there. Mm-hmm. So actor turned director. That's what's yeah, up, man. We like that. You know, definitely. we like that transition. Mm-hmm. So tell us about. You know, you said it's fun. What's what's considered a fun scene for you? Um, a fun scene is like when everything goes right and everybody nuts and everybody gets to leave on time. <laughs> that's that's pretty much a good scene. That's mm-hmm. a good day. Yeah, everything goes smooth. Everybody gets to leave on time and everybody comes. That's, yeah. yeah, that's what's up, man. Sounds like a good day had by all. You know what I mean? You know what? I kind of think that that's a good day for anybody, even if mm. you're not in porn. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like damn right, you mm-hmm. know? So, that's what it is, man. So, you said you've been in it nine years? Yeah, nine years. It seems like it's been a minute, but it's it's been a lot longer than that. <laughs> damn. So, what's the most, I guess, what's the most controversial thing that's happened in nine years to you? Um, I guess like the HIV outbreaks mm. is probably the most you know controversial thing. That's that's what um, you know I guess gets the most publicity from the outside world, outside the industry, and you know it's 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 scary, but it's an occupational hazard, and we do what we can. We get tested every thirty days and everything, so try to keep that to minimum. Mm, definitely. Well, just a, a little birdie, you know, it's like just a, something floating around saying that it was a performer that was, you know, with a young lady who tested positive for, you know, uh, a rather smart, you know, STD. Yeah. And, you know, and that was kind of, you know, I mean, you care to elaborate on that? Um, you know what? Like, it happens. It's an occupational hazard, you know what I'm saying? So, like, I, I've never been one to point fingers or call people out. It's just not really... It's not really um, a mature thing to do because when you sign up for this job, you know what the what the complications are, what the risks are, and you know you take those risks. Just like being a construction worker on the top of a skyscraper, you could fall. Mm-hmm. That's what you do. Definitely, <laughs> man. So you know, I mean, but if you had to pick three people at the top of their game right now, who would you say? Mm, at the top of their game, let's see. It's hard to pick just three because, like, there's so many different, like, levels of porn okay. and different kinds of porn. Well, but don't limit it to three. You know, like, um, I have to say I've been looking at Alexis Texas a lot. She's doing, she's doing it good. Mm-hmm. She, I, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with uh, what she's putting out there. Um, Sunny Lane, she's doing a really good job. She's got that girl next door thing going on. It's, mm-hmm. it's lovely, lovely. And, you know, Pinky's fucking doing it. She's all over the board, so you know she's she's crossing over back and forth, and yeah, she's real good at marketing. I, I think a lot of people need to look to her as far as you know how to, you know, put themselves out there. Mm, definitely, man. So, I mean, damn, so it's like I mean, with even with everyone doing their thing and whatnot, how would you say the porn industry has been affected by, say, the economy? Like you know, the recession. Um, the porn industry has been really affected by the economy. Um because consumers are spending less on porn. So instead of getting those like forty nine ninety nine DVDs, they're getting a twenty dollar membership to a site or they're paying five dollars for a webcam 
you know. Um, so the market has shifted, and if you don't shift with it, you're going to be left behind. Mm. You know, um, there's still money to be made out there, but you have to take into consideration that we are in a recession and that the consumer is spending their money differently than they used to. No, definitely. So, I mean, with, <laughs> well, that's, that's the owner. It sounds like it's just a bad time all around for everybody. It is. And on top of that, like, everything is switching in porn the past few years, even with the economy switching from, you know, um, DVD to, like, digital downloads and everything, too, which is causing everybody to switch up their game. And again, if you don't, like, keep up, you'll be lost. Oh, definitely. So you said with everybody paying twenty dollars for a website membership. I mean, so how's your website? Like, I mean, my like, website's is that... doing really good. It is. It's doing really good. I always have new updates on there, updated every week, and I always have new people. And you know, um, I keep a blog on there and keep it popping and interesting. Mm. And the website is sarahj.com. Definitely. I've also got a couple other websites too that I've been starting. I've got Sarah J's BJ's, which is an all BJ site, and I've got Ask Sarah J, which is going to be an interactive site. Um, more of like a directory or a search engine. Oh, definitely, man. So yeah. that's what it is, man. So as long as you're keeping it popping, you know, that's a good thing. Absolutely. Fresh and new. Oh, definitely, <laughs> man. So, uh, you know, any shout outs, anything like that? No, you know, just check out all my stuff. I'm, like I said, direct for Black Market. I got Sarah J. Loves Black Cock. Sarah J. Loves Black Cock 2 is about to come out. Hmm. And um, I got Chocoholic Milfs. So, okay. Oh, yeah, I heard you won an award recently. I did. I won an award for Best Interracial Performer. Okay, cool. I mean, like, any preferred performers you like to perform with? Um, you know what? I, I like to fuck and I like to I like to give heads, so yeah. if I can uh, do both of those, that's great. <laughs> Something like the super freak. I never see no one take the fall. But when she go low, she's a dope fish. No, my kind.